Hi everyone, I want to show you a demo we're working on for Kal-El, our new quad-core mobile super ship. We call this demo Global for reasons that will be obvious shortly. And as you just saw, this demo is running on Honeycomb. So mobile device game artwork generally looks okay, but uses static lighting, pre-baked offline, and you see the static light in the game. In this demo, we are using true dynamic lighting. This is pretty cool. With the performance of Kal-El, this is the first time this is really feasible on a mobile device. Now let's talk a little bit about what's cool about dynamic lighting. First, you can adjust the light source. There is a texture on the light source and you can project the light through the texture onto the objects around it. In this demo, you can also actually change the light source. So you can go to a number of different balls so you can actually see the light source changing and everything in the scene reacting to that. You can also dim and intensify the light source so you can see more of the projected light or less of it. That, in a nutshell, is dynamic lighting. It brings more life and a sense of interactivity to a scene when your movements impact the lighting of the environment. The other thing that's going on is we're using the accelerometer of the tablet to move the ball. So as the ball shifts from side to side and up to down, that's all controlled by tipping the tablet. You can also notice the drapes and the other objects in the scene. The drapes, in particular, are being affected by the gravity in the scene. So as you shift the tablet from left to right, the drapes respond to the change in gravity. All of this is being simulated real time. There's no canned animations. You can also see the CPU meter down in the bottom left-hand corner. This is pounding the four cores of Kal-El. Drapes are fully simulated, so as the ball rolls through the drape, it responds the way you would expect it to, fully simulating the collision between the mesh of the drape and the ball. You can also see the barrels in the scene. The barrels are also simulated, so as they fall, those are also being simulated across the four cores. So let's try it on two cores. What we can do in this demo is disable two of the cores. Now the simulations are happening on two cores, and you can see it becomes unplayable. Very low frame rates. That's your experience on a dual core. Now let's go back to four cores. Smooth as butter. The exciting thing is that this is pre-production silicon. The production chip will be 25 to 30 percent faster than this. Now let's have a little fun. This is a carnival theme. There are jacks in the boxes. As you bounce the ball into the boxes, they respond and mess with you. All the collisions are being simulated again using physics, all in real time. Now the point of this game is to hit the right combo of boxes to trigger the button in the middle. And if the box sends you over the ledge, you can restart, as you just saw. So once you hit all the boxes in the right order, it'll put you back on the middle of the button. And then the clown will mess with you. Now it's a little bit challenging, obviously, to do that at first, because it is a game, after all. So you can actually go around, you've got barrels to interact with, you have boxes, you have drapes, the lighting in the scene uh, it sort of messes with you as you actually do this demo. It's pretty fun and addictive. Now there's also a couple cheats, of course, you have to put that in. Um, so there's a cheat that you can actually do that puts you back up on the bubble in the middle. Or it doesn't put you there, but it allows you to get past all the different objects. Alright, so now you're in the middle, now the clown does this cool animation, grabs the ball, and sends you off into the next scene. So for this demo, we implemented one scene. We're working on more scenes, so those are going to be coming. This app will be available in the Android market, so you can download it and play with it on your Kal-El tablet. So that's Global, and that's dynamic lighting. It leverages all four CPU cores and the new GPU built into Kal-El to bring next-generation gaming to mobile devices.